Hey there, everyone. I'm JR. I'm Felipe. Brian. And I'm Roger. We're Eclectic Nerds, and we're here coming to you live from Watchtower Comics, where... Noel. The owner, the boss man, Zé Watchtower. Here we are. Um, thank you for joining us today. This is our first episode of Nerds at the Watchtower. Um, we're so excited. And before we start, let's get a brief intro. Let's give us your, your, your intro. Sure. Well, I'm Noel, and uh, I'm with Watchtower Comics, and uh, we'd like to welcome everybody to come out and uh, see the store, but not only that, check out our podcast and our reviews that we're going to start doing every week with Eclectic Nerds. <laughs> Way to go. Excellent, excellent. That being said, all right, let's start off uh, on the right and make our way down. Let's start. Well, my name's Roger. Uh, I've been into comics my whole life. It's a real big part of my life. Uh, my favorites include uh, the Watchmen series, the new Power Rangers series, and uh, the entirety of the Symbiote series of the Amazing Spider-Man. So uh, that, that's where I'm at in life. Cool. Next. <laughs> cool. I'm JR. Um, my first comic I ever read was Amazing Spider-Man 32. My my uncle had one of those, and he didn't even know what he had, but I got it, and I read it. Um, from there, I like animated series. Uh, I don't limit myself just to Americana. I also like uh, Japanese anime. I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan, uh, if you guys keep that up and check that out. Um, I shop at Watchtower, and this is like the coolest shop I've ever been to, so we're doing it here. What's going on, guys? My name is Felipe. Uh, it all started off, I guess, with when I was a kid, just watching like the old school Batman movies and shows, George Clooney. Uh, then you had, I don't know, just a weird cultivation of just stuff that just made me, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, ultimately, right now, I've been reading Super Science. <clears throat> That's been a huge, really funny series I've been reading so far. Also was suggested by the lovely people here at Watchtower. <laughs> so they know good stuff. So guys, um, I'm Brian. You can call me Noel Brian. You know, you don't have to exaggerate on it. Um, for me, it started with this gentleman over here. We're brothers, if you can tell or not. Um, so yeah, it, it pretty much every Saturday morning watching cartoons and watching like the animated series of Batman, Spider-Man, Static Shock, Digimon. <clears throat> and right now, I'm really into the Miles Morales Spider-Man. The new Thanos title, and I think one of my favorites right now is going to be Venom, the new Venom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Iron uh, Iron Fist and Power Man are the top ones for me right now. Yep, yep, yep. I feel like I didn't say enough. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said so much, and I'm over it, here. It, it went down the line, I, added and added. Yeah. I didn't even add it to what I was reading, but we'll get back to that later. I, well, I so we'll have other opportunities. We read everything, yeah. right? Right? Yeah, we yeah. read everything. Oh, I have. I show DC Love, Nightwing, Blue Beetle, Titans. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, so. yes. All right, guys. Now with those intros, our first item on the agenda: Logan the movie. Oh. Roger. This is your baby. My baby. It's everybody's baby. Our baby. It's the world's baby. Hugh Jackman is my baby. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And this might be his last hoorah. Okay. Dude, right. Before we yeah. get into that, talk to us. How, what are your predictions? What do you think about this movie? I <laughs> Break don't it down. know what to expect. Well, I mean, I know what to expect. They're going to talk about the origins of X-23. We already saw that in, like, um, a little clip of the last trailer that they released. Um, they're going to go into the cyborg. Uh, what's his name? Booker from uh, Narcos. What's his name? Dear Jesus. No, not Jesus. What is his name? I forgot his name. Moving Caliban. forward, not Mo Caliban, not Caliban. Caliban Stephen Merchant. That's a different guy. Yeah, I'm talking about um, Boyd Holbrook. The the guy, the military guy. I have it. I know it. Screw it. Moving forward. No, we can't. Um, we call ourselves the collecting nerds that we're proving ourselves to be nudes. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The movie's not out yet. It's the pilot. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not even that. All right, so <clears throat> with Logan... We see X-23, fun fact, X-23 showed uh, itself first in the X-Men Evolution. Yes, back when Wolverine was wearing that super awesome, weird, like, dark orange and black Ooh, suit. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Dude, right? That was the best suit. I did appreciate how they how they kind of brought back a, a taste of the classic suit. Yeah, you know? sure. Um, and, uh, yeah, X-23, actually, I can't tell you how many times I was super excited to hear that X-23... <laughs> was going to be in a Marvel vs. Capcom 3, yes. that video game, because mm -hmm. she's so awesome. 
um, her story is, is very intricate. It's, it's actually a, a very sad one, you know, but uh, I'm curious to see how they're going to uh, to bring her into the film. And uh, a lot of people are saying it's ba- or connected with Old Man Logan. So it already it looks a little bit. Um, he looks aged. aged. He yeah, looks he like looks he's, he's been a veteran of the world, which I mean, not, he already not is. only that, but the trailer spoils that he doesn't have his healing factor anymore. Well, yeah. It? Right. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. slow down. No, no, no. He's At all? No. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Yeah. So oh. how did he lose it? How did yeah. he lose and then, it? And then well, part well, of the trailer, you see him mm-hmm. with his claws trying to cut, trying to see if he heals again. But mm-hmm. it's not happening. Well, in the comics, um, the adamantium skeleton poisons him. And then, you know, True obviously... That. It's it's just it's not necessarily like he's invincible. It's just that since he can he can heal himself so quickly, um, it's it's a biological trait, right? So as he gets older, it has yep. to degenerate, just like with uh, Professor X and his uh, brain degeneration. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. So um, I'm thinking what they're gonna do is they're gonna touch on that and talk about what happened with uh, with Professor X, mm-hmm. and then talk about how since they're both aging, the adamantium is maybe poisoning him, and that's why he's dying and aging things yeah. like that speaking about professor x if you notice in the trailer he has hair he, he has a little bit of hair. hair and mm-hmm. Felipe and i were speaking about this the other day and in in i believe it was uh age of apocalypse when he still had his hair he had, his hair grew back could yeah, it be that he, he stopped, stopped using yeah. st- he stopped using his powers or maybe he doesn't have anymore yeah because you know Wolverine's like, <clears> we're at the no shop more. live boy humans are no more and it's like he's like there's very few of us now yeah, so it could be that. Which ones are left? And will we see Hulklings? See, okay, I'm very glad that you mentioned that because I'm gonna say no. My Just, whole nah, ain't gonna happen. Uh, I don't think so either. Calm down. I wanted to happen, bro, because like old old man Logan, man, my entire like excitement about the movie Logan was the fact that a I was gonna see Red Hulk little inbred red hulk babies and <laughs> things are just gonna go ridiculous all right i'm this very is Felipe, everybody that i got this the guy from narcos which don't get me wrong great actor i like what you did there i remember his name by the way you remember his name i'm so glad but right now i want inbred <laughs> red hulk continuing. babies not um, like literally but right? you know cin- no. cinematography would be nice um, for me i'm i'm looking to see more kind of that berserker Wolverine mm-hmm. uh, scenario go on. Obviously, you know, it's more likely to happen with X-23. But, I mean, I would like for once to see at least one Wolverine-type character just absolutely lose it mm-hmm. and just slaughter crazy amounts of people. Just go, like, spitting mad. Berserker mode. Yes. Yes. In, in the, the, yeah. the, the, the last X-Men movie, we saw a little bit of Berserker Wolverine, but they never showed it. They just saw blood mm-hmm. better. Yeah. Yes. But since this, yeah. this old man Logan's rated R, if yeah. does they, it, they, they, they're really the pushing and letting people know that it's not for kids. Yep. Yeah. And that excites yep. me. That's why I, that, there's potential. I think it could happen. Like, so it's it, a later. I, wanna see, <laughs> I, I know it's completely off topic, but I mean, it's for me, it's, it's as disappointing as... Han Solo getting killed and Chewbacca just kind of, you know. <laughs> and this- Rage unleashed on screen. I would love to people see people paying the price, bodies flying everywhere. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I want to see like a slow mo of a head just flying across yeah, the I mean, screen. <laughs> well, I'm more excited for the fight scenes, yeah. like the, yes. cor- the choreography of the fight scenes, because in the trailer you can see where there's 23 is kicking butt. Not only that, she's jumping off of Logan. So I'm excited to see like their combos. It's almost gonna be like the the little, little like, duo, right? like the duo, Arkham right? Asylum fights where you're just like going Ooh. and there's like you know you're fighting with a partner and you can have those like partner up combos things like that. I launch and I use and see what happens. Yep. And then going back to her being in the in the Marvel game with the new one that's coming out. If she is in it, are they gonna incorporate it some to where you have partner combos like that? Yeah, true that. Mm. True that. Is there a possible Ryan Reynolds? Oh, please yes. God, let there be. Yes. Not yes. just that, but I want to see a flashback where he's with Deadpool, Hugh, where Hugh Jackman is wearing the classic suit. We've been waiting. If you're gonna go yeah. out and yeah. you're gonna no longer be the Wolverine, we need to see you in the classic suit or some type yeah. of rendition of it. Brown or blue and yellow? Blue I like yellow. I like the brown. I like blue the brown, yellow. blue and yellow. I love the blue yeah. and yellow just, as well. Just because it's like the so most known one. Normal Brian likes the blue and yellow. 
yellow. Yeah, I love the blue and yellow, but I think modern yeah. for a modern take, I think the brown one would fit more. Well, the brown one is the one that he got in that case at the end of uh, <laughs> the Wolverine, the last movie in yeah. Japan. That's the one that he got in the case. Yeah. 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 All right, so some type of suit, man. I mean, you saw the suit; we just didn't see it on him. We or, or, or uncanny, suit. uncanny X Men, where he's all blacked out, like the stealth. Yeah, yeah. yeah that one, the, the that one is my favorite no, one. Actually, yeah. think about it. Since we're having yeah, a time jump, one, yeah. if we have a time jump, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a little, a little flash black and gray black. suit Wolverine. Please, and comic book possibly, lords. Possibly, possibly Please. see Deadpool yeah. and the whole, you know, uh, X Force kind of stuff. Yeah. But ultimately, guys, <sighs> nerd, when this movie nerd. comes out, we will be doing a review. Uh, hopefully, we're going to try and do it maybe sometime by the end of this week. But best believe we will all be very excited to do that review of that movie. You know, just dab on it one time, JR, one more time. Hit it with five. There you go. There we go. Hey, all righty, then. All right. Moving on, guys. <laughs> Next topic. All right. We're going to talk about X-Men versus Inhumans or Inhumans versus X-Men. Which is right here. Right here. Boom. Uh, well, actually, I, I, I purchased this at, at the here here from the wonderful people at Watchtower. Watchtower. Uh, come down, get your copy. Uh, so, Inhumans versus X Men. The story so far is there's a battle between the Inhumans and the X Men. We're five issues deep. Uh, basically, what's happening is if you're not caught up yet, the Terrigen Cloud that powers the Inhumans, right, gives them their superpowers and makes them Inhumans, uh, is poisonous to the X Men. So there was an episode of uh, or an arc where uh, Cyclops went, Scott Summers went, and he essentially destroyed the first Terrigen Cloud. There were two on Earth. Mm -hmm. So the Inhumans are fighting to protect one, and then the X-Men are fighting to destroy it or to somehow find a way around it. I know in, in the comics I mentioned that Beast was working with one of their scientists as well, trying to find a solution in the Zero issue. That's why they, they covered mm -hmm. it, and they fast forward. Did not work out, so now everybody's uh, at war. So uh, we are now at a point where the Inhumans, the X-Men have infiltrated the Inhumans. They attacked New Attilan, mm -hmm. and they captured Black Bolt, and they captured uh, Lockjaw, so they don't have, um, what's it called? They don't have the teleportation, they don't have Black Bolt, which is their leader, their guy, mm -hmm. and Medusa's going crazy. She's in a fit. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> X-Men yeah. kidnap Black Bolt. Emma Frost is behind everything, so she she does all that. Damn, they uh, transport him into their, their limbo Damn dimension where they have the Xavier University. Yeah. And exactly. that's where they hold them hostage. So the humans, they somehow find a way to get to limbo in this issue and essentially fight the X-Men trying to get Black Bolt back. So you have Karnak fighting uh, Jean Grey and... Um, uh, Phantom X. You have Gorgon going against Colossus, which is an awesome fight. The panels for it are amazing. Uh -huh. And you have um, Colossus. Be that's a lot. You, in there. Yeah, it's it's a, lot it's, it's a lot to process in this in this issue. It if, really is. And then it, it, eventually uh, they find they find Black Bolt, and uh, Medusa confronts the person who's guarding Black Bolt, essentially in um, in Forge's um, lab. It's Havoc. So Havoc is, uh, as we know, Scott Summers, Cyclops' brother. So they they have an, an exchange of, of words. Uh, Havoc doesn't feel that he needs to kill uh, any of the Inhumans for his brother to, to avenge him. So he essentially gives up Black Bolt. And the Inhumans, they get out of Limbo. They free Lockjaw. Uh, Karnak frees Lockjaw. They get out of Limbo. And they go after the second Terrigen Cloud. So Boom. they're all heading over there and they're ambushed by the x-men yeah there's a, there's another fight that breaks out and then M magneto he sends something in the air and he's like the terrigen cloud is getting close it's about to land it's about to touch so what he does is he gets the the x jet that they flew in on and he levitates it over them he's like yo y'all need to stop or something bad's gonna happen like it's gonna go down literally magneto always yeah. and always, then that's always the, the, the cliffhanger and that's the I cliffhanger like magneto has finally turned to against the solid five yeah guy, man. well see that's the thing I don't know if he's good or not. I don't know if he's going to see this as his Whoa. chance to wipe out the X-Men and the Inhumans and just have his new mutant order. It's, it's a risk <laughs> I'm willing to take. I don't know, man. I don't I'm know. willing to say he's a good guy now. I've always liked Because after, you know. after everything happened with the Phoenix Wars, with mm -hmm. Scott, and the way he reacted, mm -hmm. he realized, yo, you're acting like me. I this is like, what I've been this whole time. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, this is what I've been doing to people? I don't like... No, yeah. Right. So I think from there, it, it, it imprinted to him, like, nah, I'm done playing this game. Mm -hmm. Trying, like, oh, we have to be the sort of the, 
the superior race because mm-hmm. we're, we're mutants. So I think he's, he's finally like, okay, cool. Let's, I'm, I'm down. Just peace overall. Well, see, that's the thing. They touched on, they tried to do a peaceful thing for a whole year. I think it was eight months mm-hmm. while they were working. And now it's just, it's the last few days before that Terrigen Cloud really touches. Kicked and everything off. If not, the, X- the X-Men are going to be X-Humans. The X-Men are going to be extinct. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. oh, I'm going to stop you right now. Yep. Spoilers. <laughs> just, just well, spoilers. I mean, it's all in the new issue. They should be coming If you guys up, haven't yeah. heard already, um, I think they're killing off the X-Men in Marvel. Yeah. So they're going to they're gonna cut off. Uh, the title which saddens me because x-men is one of the the titles that really spoke to me as a minority it pioneered it the, pioneered the new era yeah, yeah well, exactly it was, it was made inspired of like malcolm x, malcolm x and, and martin luther king so yeah like, yeah so that, that it, that's one thing i did appreciate about x-men that i could relate to it you yeah. know and again that's what comics are for like people think comics are just for oh you know you're just reading these little kid stories no man like they we did real we, things in real life. Yes, man. It's real That's a, yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. So that being said, um, I'm actually kind of sad to see um, how they do that. And if they do go out, they better go out like champs. It's such a staple, man. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I, I'm actually surprised out of all of the groups. They already did uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, which I personally liked. Mm-hmm. It pissed me off as to what happened and how it happened in certain events. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you haven't read it, go pick it up. Um, I think it's like what twelve issues. It was yeah, a short series. Issues, mm-hmm. um, X Men Avenger, uh, X Men uh, versus Inhuman, same thing. Uh, if you haven't picked that up, pick it up for sure. How, how many issues in, is already? Right now we're at five. Five, five. perfect time. You can yeah. still catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Issue five. At Watchtower. Um, next, next uh, <laughs> crossover we have is Justice League versus the Mighty Morphin <laughs> Power, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If you guys can't tell, we're excited about that one a little bit more than the other because we're all Power Ranger fans. Green Ranger um, yes. is awesome. Yes. Jason, Jason, David, Frank, if you are listening to this, come to Watchtower. We love you. I love you. There you go. True feelings right there, guys. True feelings. True, true feelings. feelings. You know, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because so I've recently picked up the first two issues Boy. from mm-hmm. here for the people to watch tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Also, something that they had uh, suggested. And my Boy. favorite thing is literally the banter between Zach, the Black Ranger. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Hey there, hey there guys. <laughs> Only a watchtower. Only a watchtower. <laughs> Just so y'all, if y'all are curious. Is um, the banter between the Black Ranger, which is Zach, <laughs> Batman. And Batman. Oh, so man. It is hysterical. Yeah. I yeah. love it. It's, you know, you just read it. Read it. Mm-hmm. Let it, us know what your, what your thoughts are. Like like we were, like we were talking about Ooh. this earlier, and the thing about it, it's like, the Justice League is a structured, mature um, organization already, mm-hmm. and then you throw in some teenagers with attitude. Right. With yeah. powers. With powers, yeah. trying to figure out what's going on. I mean, it, as, as all hormones growing up, into becoming adults wasn't hard enough. Now you're giving them all these other powers. Batman yeah. called them enhanced beings. Yeah, yeah. Batman yeah. called yeah. them enhanced, enhanced beings. beings. The fact you bring that up, that's one of my favorite parts. I think it was issue one. He's like, mm. uh, I'm gonna need backup. I was like, what? You need backup? I finally get enhanced beings. Yes, backup, please. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of kids. Extra durability, strength, speed, please. <laughs> oh, dude, I love it. Inside, inside the panel that he's talking about, uh, he's like, I mean, he's fighting them off pretty well, and then right when he gets to enhanced strength, you just see him with like a judo kick, and Batman just goes flying mm-hmm. through, and he's like, Yeah, I uh, need some backup. Back up, yep. Where's Where's the big guy? And who's his backup? The Flash. Yup. Oh. Bro. Yup. The Flash. Like, yep. in classic. That's, that's not my Flash. Oh, <laughs> just, no. just read it. Like, he's he's talking to the communicator and he, I wonder who he's talking to I thought he was talking to Superman that's what I thought too because <laughs> on the, like, the panel's red so I'm like okay cool Superman but no and then he's like yeah I'm in Illinois I'm, I'm in Ohio okay yeah I'm here <laughs> and then he comes in and takes all their weapons and they're like whoa what happened like I blinked and I missed it yep. and yep. then that's it and then Zip so they, you got Flash coming in you got Green Lantern coming in <sighs> you got uh, you got the Zords coming in oh the Zords yeah, dude all co- hey guys we're back Maybe. <laughs> All right, so we were we we're moving on to uh, trailer talk. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I like it. I'm excited. The trailer just dropped this week, I believe, two days ago. Yep. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, any thoughts about that? Quick thoughts. Groot, Groot, so cute. Baby Groot. 
That's all I got. It's the cuties. Roger? I don't know, I just like that part where he's like hooking up the, the aux cord, just plugging everything up, and then it starts. The, like the he's, bass, he's oh, kicking it off. Oh, oh, oh. I think, I don't know, I think the entire trailer was edited really well, and the colors that they're gonna use in the movie. I mean, it's, it's already in the marketing, and they're going for like the 80s pop. New vibrant, wave. very vibrant. Very vibrant colors, very loud, very, very neon. And it's evident it's, in their color scheme for the film. Like, it's, it's very bright. Very, very The Space Odyssey, man. That's yep. what it is. Uh, yeah. I like that. When, uh, do, when do get his full mohawk? Yeah, yeah, when do. When do. Yes. Sorry, I went to space right now. Yeah. Oh, I went to space, okay. So did he. Yeah, true that, true that. I was hoping you'd catch it. Speaking of space, aliens. Ah, nice. Alien. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's I can do that. I'm excited to see. Who dies? Every, yeah, who dies? Who, I think they're who, all gonna die. Who that? Who's, who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? No, first. there's always one that's gonna survive. Yeah. Is it yeah. though? Yeah, that's how all the movies yeah, continue. Like, there's always the one survivor. Uh, and they always are like, no, don't go. And but I'm always, gonna end up going with you. I would like to see a cameo of the original uh, Reeboks from the first one. I know Reebok released them, the, the, the moon boots, I believe. I want to see them in this one since it is taking my time thing, after Prometheus. Yeah, my thing is, are they gonna like try to introduce Predator all over again? No, no, uh, completely unrelated. These, this is still a prequel to they're everything. Re, they're redoing Predator. Though. Yeah, but Predator's not. Even AVP wasn't canon. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Damn it. Well, well, that answers that question, right? Mm -hmm. um, next one, we were supposed to go see Skull Island. But one somebody, of us did. One, one of us did. Only one. one of us did. I was the only one that saw Skull Island because... whoop de doo Basil. Because that dude damn, loves damn to be late. Who? Houston. That guy. Nah. <laughs> but, all of y'all are probably like, how they get... Like, well, how does he con? Once again, lovely people at Watchtower. You'll want to go to Watchtower. Watchtower, you will go. So, overall thoughts on the movie is... And I, I apologize to the actors. I really do because I'm going to sound super ignorant right now. Uh, I don't know their names, but I do know the characters that they played in the movie N.W.A. So we refer to them as Dr. Dr. Dre and, Lil, and Lil, you know, Eazy-E. Eazy-E uh, from The Walking Dead. Do not get confused. Eazy-E Eazy was not actually in this movie. That'd be amazing if he was, though. But, moving on. So Eazy-E's character was the funny guy and the only one I really took seriously. Like, he really kind of made me believe what everything was going on was, was like, legit. Dr. Dre, some funny here and now and then. Um, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Tom Hiddleton. Oh. Did a pretty good job, actually. Um, he had one job, kind of failed. Um, Damn. He, you know, just being honest with you, he had one job. Right. King Kong fight scenes. Because I know that's what everybody wants to hear. I have a question. Yeah, they I have an look, answer. They look amazing in the trailer, and I know that there was like nods to like the older Kong movies. Right. Yeah. Right, with like the whole tree bat, the lizard thing, the octopus coming back. Right. So I know that with this, they're going to try and kick off the, the whole uh, Kaiju Cinematic Universe. Right, and they're gonna have, they're hopefully bringing uh, King uh, Ghidorah and, and everybody else that he uh, fights, right? Uh, like uh, Mothra and uh, the other, the giant octopus that come fights. And the Kraken. Uh, one Am I right thing. in assuming that that all of these monsters are coming out of nowhere because they're building something up? And are the fight scenes as amazing as they look in the trailer? Spoilers. Spoilers. Possible right? spoilers. Possible spoilers. So. Possible. Very, very hard possible spoilers. I just need a yes or a no. I'll put it like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fight scenes, amazing. And as far as monsters, Hell Hydra. That's all I got. Oh. Damn. You gonna put the sand down. Oh, just a lot of fire. Just a lot of fire. Put the sand down. Put the sand Jesus. That's your only hint I'm gonna give you. I'm a huge believer in no spoilers. Overall, stay after the credits. Okay. I know they got this whole Marvel DC thing going on. It's a standard for any like fran big franchise. Yeah. Now, so. Yes. So. Anything that comes from books or anything to movies, stay for the credits. That's how they get you, man. That's how they get you. So, I think this episode is coming straight to close. Before we go, let's go down the line and recommend a comic title. A title, yeah. All right. And uh, uh, that'll be our way to exit. Roger. So I guess I'll go first. Um, once again, the lovely people at Watchtower. Uh, specifically, Alan. We'll call him Alan the Oracle for now. Oracle! Yeah. Um, he, we, we were talking the other day uh, when I was here at Watchtower, and he recommended this comic called Extremity. And it's a it's a new comic. Uh, first issue dropped yesterday. Uh, it's, it comes to you from Image Studios, uh, same people that bring you The Walking Dead. It's They describe it as Studio Ghibli 
meets Mad Max, and I completely and totally agree. Like there was a, a five page five page uh, teaser in the 163 issue of The Walking Dead, and it was great. It was a great five. I read it, and uh, it's, it centers around Thea. She's a she's the the protagonist. She's an artist, and she she was an amazing artist in her, in her land. She used her right hand. There was an attack from a rival a rival clan. So this is this sets up the, the dichotomy for the series, and what they do is they uh, they destroy their their home, they kill her mom, and they cut off her right hand. So she's left with a left hand, and she eventually gets this like metallic me uh, mechanical claw thing that in the and later in the comic it turns out that it doubles as like a weapon. So she can change it from what a, a claw to like a sword, and her brother. Um, Rolo, he, he's like a, a more timid timid guy, her older brother, he's next in line to be the, the Abba, as they call the leader of the, of the tribe, which is their father, his name is Jerome. So uh, he's more like the mechanical engineer kind of guy, he doesn't really believe in, in war, but because he is the future of his of his clan, uh, he has to follow in his, father, in his father's footsteps, so there's there's that internal struggle going on. Overall, the, the war, the fight scenes, the color, the... Uh, the writing so far has been great, and uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, the writer, the creator, the author, uh, the illustrator, he does everything minus color, which is uh, what's his name, uh, Mike Spicer, who's uh, also done work for Image and DC and Marvel. They uh, they've come together to create something that's aesthetically pleasing. It's great. It's great writing, and I pick up the first issue, and you'll want to read more. That's for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, guys. So that's a recommendation for for this episode. Stay tuned. We're gonna have more content. And we're going to have uh, more segments. And this is our pilot. Guys, we're Eclectic Nerds. I'm JR. I'm Roger. I'm Felipe. Brad. And we're here. <laughs> and we're here from Watchtower. Thank you so much, man. Force be with you. Caliban. Caliban. We got Jackie in the back showing us the way. <laughs> we edit this out later. Right, right. Because it's on my side. This is on my side. This is this is pilot, bro. I got All work. right. He's like Roger, and then we'll come back. back. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of work tonight. What's the Taliban? God right damn. I mean, like, hey man. I don't know whether to cut it out, bleak you. <laughs> continue, continue. That's part of the show. Part of the show. You can say it. I think I could say it. That's part of the show. Now you guys know we're being real. This is either the beginning or the. All right, now.